All right. So I'm just taking a break here, kicking back for a little bit with my feet up and uh, thinking about things that I want to make videos about. And this is something that doesn't really need a whole lot of time, I don't think, but that um, comes up or came up in a discussion um, in a social media group and I don't want to say rub me the wrong way, but it was like, really? Um, and I, and I say that as in saying, you know, just because you don't want to do something doesn't mean it can't be done. So, so let me, <clears throat> you know, there are people that say there is no such thing as an unbuildable kit. And, and I would say that's true. Um, any kits buildable, but not everybody wants to build it. Right. Um, just because you're not willing to put the effort into something that somebody else is willing to doesn't mean it can't be done. It just means you don't want to do it. And that's fine. I mean, I have, I have, um, you know, projects that, that I walked away from because it's like, I, I don't want to do this anymore. It's not, um, it's not fun. It's not, I'm not enjoying it. I'm not that into it, whatever. And, and that's fine. Right. But that doesn't mean it can't be done. That means I don't want to do it. And those are two completely different things. Um, case in question was, was there was some discussion about a kit and that um, basically some of the engineering choices, I guess, that were made on the kit were unfixable. And I would say, no, that's not true. It's not, they're not unfixable. Maybe you don't want to fix them or it's not worth fixing them or it's just too much work, whatever. That doesn't mean it's unfixable. You, you get what I'm, where I'm coming from? Um, you know, it doesn't make you less of a man or, or, or woman or, or, or whatever. Um, if you walk away from something that you're supposed to be enjoying, if it's, if it's no longer, you know, enjoyable or, or whatever, we're, we're, we're building, um, we're not building nuclear weapons, <laughs> you know, or, or, um, um, gas masks or, or, you know, things that need to work. We're not, we're not, we're not building, life-saving equipment we're not building medical equipment we're you know you know what i'm saying so to come out of the gate and say you know this is crooked the, the way they molded this or whatever it's crooked and i can't fix it yeah you could but you don't want to and that's fine that's fine but there's somebody out there somebody else out there that will fix it um and that and that's fine too right that doesn't make one better than the other it just it's different priorities it's different priorities it's not um um You know, what's the saying? It's not worth my time. And that, that different people apply that differently. It's not worth my time. You know, it, it's, it's, um, 
I mean, I can I can tell you from from my point of view. Um, there's a lot of the older kits that I have that I that I have in my stash and and that I enjoyed at one time, um, that have been superseded by newer stuff, and and they're not really worth my time anymore. I I don't. Um, I don't want to work that hard on them, <laughs> right? Doesn't mean I can't. Um, but I don't see any need to, and I don't, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to, right? So, so yeah, that's all. I, I really, I, I was just sitting here thinking about it. And it's like. Sure, you can fix it. You just don't want to fix it. And that's okay. And that's okay. What do, what do, what do I always say? What have I said a hundred thousand times? It's only plastic. You can fix it. Right? If you screw it up, you can fix it. If you want to change it, you can fix it. If it's not right, you can fix it. It's plastic. <laughs> it's not titanium. <sighs> You know, or, or or whatever. It's not marble. It's not. Um... You know, th there are things in this world that you can't really fix. This isn't one of them. You know, sc scale models are not things that, that can't be fixed. You can fix them. Maybe it's a generational thing. Maybe it's just a, it's a it's a personality thing or or whatever. I I do think that um, older people tend to be more um, prone to dive into something that they don't really know to to um, get their hands dirty, so to speak. Um, than, than younger people and, and maybe that's a generalization um, and, and I don't know what that comes from I know I know for my from my um, from my personal experience you know growing up in a family um, that we fixed all our own stuff we didn't call the plumber we didn't call the electrician we didn't um, take the car to the mechanic. We fixed it. You know, and if you didn't know how, you, you figured it out or you found somebody that knew how and, and, and you fixed it. Nowadays, we have YouTube. There's, there's nothing you can't find on YouTube and figure out how to do it. Have somebody show you. Some of the, some of it's not very great quality or they don't explain things well. Um, but for the most part with the internet, you can learn how to do anything, right? That's why reading is so important. Um, if you can read, you can learn to do anything, right? I mean, there are books on everything and if you have reading copy, well, you got to be able to comprehend what you're reading. So if you can read and you have comprehension, you can learn how to do anything. So from my point of view, it's not right to say, I can't do that. Yeah, sure you can. You don't want to, and that's okay. Now, that said, you know, are there things that certain people can't do? Are there different skill sets in the world? Or are there are there limitations? A man's got to know his limitations, right? Right? Of, of course. You know, you're, you're not going to see me uh, hopping across the moon. Um, you're not going to see me at the top of Everest. I'm old and fat. You know, it's, it's just not going to happen. Um, But that doesn't mean I can't chop something up and, and reassemble it the way it's supposed to be done. I may not want to do it. I may not want to invest the time in it. But that doesn't mean it can't be done. 
That's all I'm saying. There's a difference between can't and won't. Um, is it important? Is it an important distinction? I think it is in, in the long run. Um, is it necessarily an important distinction at the time? You know, that, that it comes into play? Maybe not. But you don't want to mentally... I would advise against long, that doing that too much because I think long-term mentally you start convincing yourself that you can't. And that's something that I'm very... Um, It's a word I try not to use. And it's a word that, um, you know, we didn't allow at the dinner table, <laughs> you know, and, and, and that sounds silly, but, but it's, 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 it's okay to say I won't, or I don't want to, but I can't is a completely different thing. That's a definitive and, and it's not true. It's not true. In most cases. Um, and that's all I got to say about that. Um, I guess I should get off of my duff. I'm going to go get some iced tea and get off of my duff and, and get back to work here. I got to go. go uh, got some wrestling tonight. So I got to go to wrestling tonight. So, All right. Hey, as usual, take care of the people you love and we'll see you next time. Bye.